Welcome to the vlog. Not too long ago, I started to get pretty good at portraits and I started to really focus my time and energy on that one specific thing. But at the same time, my grandfather started to get really sick and I was about to visit him in the hospital and I made a very small decision and I think about that moment every, almost every year uh, when it's about the anniversary of him passing. You see, as I was about to walk out the door to actually go visit him, and he was at this time, you know, he was pretty ill. Uh, we kind of knew that, you know, it wasn't going to be long before he actually passed away. But I made the decision to not bring my camera. I literally stopped at the door and I was like, should I? Should I bring my camera? Uh, I don't know, like I, th I feel like it would just be a little inappropriate because he was pretty sick at that time. He didn't look very well and I was like, uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave it. But I think about that particular moment all the time and now that, you know, my grandfather has passed away, uh, it is sad, but I also regret heavily not taking my camera that day because I think about how much I would have appreciated a high quality photo of my grandfather before his passing. Even though he didn't look the best at that time, I still would have really appreciated it. And I also think about how much my family would actually appreciate that photo. My grandfather was very much a cameraman and he had a whole box of old point and shoot cameras and me and my cousin actually had this discussion about how it was pretty difficult to actually find photos of him for you know the funeral and everything like that going through the old photos there there just weren't that many photos of him which was kind of unfortunate so that being said I thought about that moment and I continue to think about this moment uh, time and time again and I have the ability to take those high quality photos that these families would actually really enjoy. So I should probably do something about that. I'm Kathleen from Mapleville Long Term Care Center. And about a week and a half ago, Anthony came to take portraits of our residents here. He did a great job. He worked with, well with the residents and they were open to him, which is great to see. So since Anthony's come in, all the residents and staff can talk about are the pictures he's taken, where even one of the residents, every other day, he still has a suit and tie on, waiting in case he has another picture taken. And I, we just love the work that he's done here. We are about to round up the staff and show them all these surprises that I made. Uh, check this out, I have all these prints. They had no idea I was actually making these prints for them. Uh, but we're about to round them up and I'll show you their reactions. So, I just wanted to show you guys, this is everybody who we took a photo of. And these are the actual prints. Uh, these are all for, for you. So can we like go th look yeah. through them? Take, take oh a look. My. That's just one of Alice. Oh my god! That's Alice. That's Alice. Oh my god! The family is gonna. Look at my margarita. But that is that. That's Sarah. That's Sarah. Queen Sarah. Yep. This is a nice picture. Look at Nilo. Oh, she's beautiful. That's a beautiful smile. That's a nice. Oh my god! I think. Oh. As, as, as a, as a, oh, with the hands. Family, aren't they gonna just, oh, Sarah's yeah. gorgeous. Funny. I didn't know he was surprised with the. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I saw him. Oh. This one I was really thinking about a lot because um, this lady, like she obviously, like she's not 100% alert all the time. No. Uh, yeah, not well for no. sure. Um, and it's probably been a while since uh, yes. her family has seen. Yes, kind of yes. looking like how she looks in this photo. Yes. So uh, this is the one that I was like, oh wow, that's that's really nice. This one for You're sure. Absolutely she looks, right. Yeah. She yeah. looks she looks like very much there and happy almost. Yes. So. Really, absolutely. Her and her husband they had just celebrated an anniversary a few weeks prior to this. Oh wow. And it wasn't a good day for her. Yeah. 
this is gonna this make the table is really straight with the other so way. much better for you. For sure. Let me push you that in. I'd say that was a pretty big success and I'm pretty happy that I did that because you know it's just nice for the families to have those high quality photos uh, that I can take and I'm really happy to give that away to people who you know are often not necessarily thought of. Ever since that moment I chose not to bring my camera I definitely regret it and now every time I go and see my mom, my dad or anything like that I always bring a camera because I know those will be photos that I always will cherish. Thanks so much for watching guys. My name is Anthony Jackson from WeRosePhoto.com and I will catch you in the next one.